You guys want to see the back of my shirt? Have a good day. I hope you're having a good day. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Moon Knight. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you. It's, I'm talking to you. Yes. Yes, you. Uh-huh. You. I'm talking to you. I'm looking at you. <laughs> God. Sorry, I've had a little bit of caffeine today. Thank you to everyone who has stuck around and subscribed and continues to watch these movies and shows with me. You guys are the backbone of this channel and this community, and I'm so stoked that I have this incredible community to share these awesome stories with. So thank you for subscribing and being a part of our little golden nugget community over here. You are my favorite little crispy golden nuggets and I appreciate you so much. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like this kind of content and you have fun over here and enjoy what you see, maybe consider clicking that little red button below to subscribe. We definitely have a lot of fun over here and I would really appreciate it. We are diving into Moon Knight and I am so excited to see what this series has in store. I know absolutely nothing about this show except for the fact that Oscar Isaac is the lead. So I'm very excited to see him and get a side of him in the Marvel Universe. And I know that I don't know if it's set in Egypt or if there's just scenes that take place in Egypt. But a little while ago when I posted my Egypt vlog over on my second channel, Just Nat, I always link that in the description bar down below. A lot of people were commenting on that video, like, oh my God, what great timing. You're gonna be watching Moon Knight soon and you just went to Egypt. So I presume that there's gonna be some scenes in this series, if not the whole thing is gonna be set in Egypt. I'm excited to see what that's like, but I don't know anything about the character that Oscar Isaac is playing. I don't know who else is in this show. I know nothing about Moon Knight and what he does or what his thing is. So I think it should be a fun journey filled with lots of surprises. And at the time of me sitting down to start this show, I believe the series finale was like just released this week, uh, maybe yesterday even. So I'm not too far behind in terms of checking out this show. I've waited just long enough that now I can watch the whole thing. And I'm really excited to dive on into it. But real quick before we do, for those of you guys that don't know, I do have a Patreon page as well. I also link that in the description bar down below. If you like catching my full length watch along style reaction videos, I would definitely consider going and checking that out for these episodes of Moon Knight because a lot does get cut out for these videos over here on YouTube. And I also list my Instagram and Twitter down there if you want to stay in touch with me, stay up to date on the weird things that I do in my regular daily life, that's also a fun place to do that. But enough talking, enough said, I'm ready to hop on into this show and see what it's like, see how it's made, what the style is kind of like. I know with some of these Marvel series, they actually tend to differ a bit more uh, than some of the movies. WandaVision was a very unique, style. Loki had a really cool art style, was very different from everything else. So I'm really interested to see what this show is like, if it feels more like a Marvel movie or if it has its own aesthetic going on. And with all that being said, I think we should hop on into it. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. A Libra tattoo. I mean, I know it's just like the scales, but still, I'm a Libra, so I like it. <laughs> Part of like a ritual? What are you doing, dude? Whose shoes are those, dude? No. No. What? Why? <laughs> what? Wow, this is already so crazy. This opening is a lot. Is there a reason, bro? Is there a reason, bro? Wow. That was a really interesting opening. He's under house arrest? Maybe he's just chained to a bike lock. Oh. I wonder, so the guy at the beginning of the series might not have been Oscar Isaac, that might have been somebody else. Is there sand around his bed? Oh my God, what is happening? Morning Gus, my little one pin wonder. Oh no, is your goldfish gonna die? Oh, oh no. I still wake up every morning still feeling like I got hit by a bus. Oh, that's why he looks a little rough. Still selling the old brushes and brooms, right? Right in front of my entrance. Got no problem with it, cheers. <laughs> Sorry, I missed you, Mum. Uh, I'll try you again tomorrow. Late as gators. Late as gators. Oh, I love this accent. He's sleeping on the guy in front of him. So he's clearly not sleeping well. I wonder if he's sleepwalking or something. 
Is he an Egyptologist? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Egypt has to come into the picture somehow. There was sand around his bed. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. You're not the bloody tour guide still. Oh, is he not? Is he just like the gift shop guy? No, you're bloody useless unless you're actually doing what you're paid to do. Oh, but he's passionate about Egypt and history. Wow. He's kind of like this loser who like can't stand up to the guy selling brooms in front of his house and like downtrodden. Oh, he's going to gain some confidence by the end of this show. My next tour's here, but just checking. He's still on for seven. <gasps> They're going on a date. Seven. Tomorrow. Does he not remember? Stevie, you absolute rascal. I didn't know you'd taken a crack. I didn't know either. Ha! <laughs> Wait, the goldfish problem. It is about memory. It's about memory. Yeah, I can see why she went for it. Ah! Real catch you are. Oh no! <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> Real catch you are. Put the banners outside. And that's what made you late for work again, oh, was it? Really sorry about that. Third time this week. Again. Let it go, Donna. Oh, third time this week. I guess that is pretty bad. Listen, he's not sleeping or something. Something is wrong with him. Is the sand? Oh, it's he puts the sand there as a way to see if he's gotten up. Hello, and welcome to staying awake. Staying awake? He tries to stay awake because he doesn't, he's scared of falling asleep. Like, you have to sleep. Does he travel in his sleep? Like, teleportation, kind of? <laughs> oh, God, his jaw. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh, ew, ew, ew. Where is he? He is not in London, bro. There's glass all over the ground. Is he in Switzerland? Sleep, worm. Worm? Where are you? Surrender the body to Mark. Mark? Oh, the idiot's in control. Oh, no. Is that a scarab with hieroglyphs? Is that a mummy? What the f***? What are you doing? <laughs> what? Don't just stand there. Run! What is happening? This is crazy. Why are they shooting him? He didn't mean to be here. Leave him alone. They're bad shots. Anyway, it's fine. The guy with the glass in his shoes. Oh, bow to him, I guess. Okay. Is this a cult-like town? What the heck? It's like we're in heaven. Only it's not heaven, is it? Uh, I don't know. You tell me, bruh. You're a brave man. Offering your soul for judgment. Is he gonna be killed? Is he gonna sacrifice himself? Uh-oh. I judge you in Amit's name with but a fraction of her power. Oh, the scales. His tattoo. This is the face of a good man. It was green. Is it red if you're not? Uh-oh. I've been good. My entire life. Yet Amit has decided. He just killed her like that. The, oh my Lanta. Wow. This is crazy. Is Amit one of the Ennead? It's got to tie into that Egyptian stuff. He got ambushed. Someone killed two of our men. Someone killed two of our men? He didn't kill any of your men. Do I have a meat? Uh oh. Well, there you go. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. I know you. Uh oh. Do you do? You will give him. Oh, the god in his head is making him not give it back. I'm, I'm not, I'm... It's like Venom. His body's being controlled by a voice in his head. Oh, don't break your arm. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, God. I'm not trying to fight. <laughs> this scene must have been so fun to act. I, it's so funny, man. It is so funny. I, oh my God, I would, that's so hard to be an extra in this scene and not crack up laughing. No, the idiot's back. <gasps> oh, he did kill two mercenaries. He just wasn't awake for it and we didn't see it. Oh, that's bad. So some voice in his head keeps seizing control and then killing people and trying to get this scarab. Don't you dare drop the scarab. All right, all right. It'd be really a lot easier voice if you took control of his body again. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's a really cute van. Oh my God. Trying to pass on this road is not advisable. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. She doesn't give a <laughs> man. Oh my god, Mark really needs to stay awake a bit longer. What is happening? Who is Mark? He's driving backwards. Oh, is it the figure? Whoa, he's awake. He travels in his sleep or something. I wonder what fishies dream about. Never thought of that question before, huh? What? What the fish? Huh? Yesterday that fish had one fin, yeah? Oh, he grew a fin? Oh, he's a new fish. Is that clock right? No, that's impossible. I just woke up. Is he having a groundhog day moment? 
Bugger, I've got a date. Sorry, I've got a date. I like how he brought it in a blender because that was all he had to travel with. Oh. We still expecting one more. Is she not coming? Did he get the day wrong? Punchy, calling me now. Uh-oh. I ate steak by myself, thanks. Two days ago. Did he sleep for like two days? It doesn't change the fact that today is Sunday, which means lose my number. Oh, wow. Oh, I guess something's going on that would make her that mad. Oh, she loved the flowers. Yeah. He's talking to his mom or leaving a message. Anyway, I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. Love you. Is he always leaving a message for his mo mother? Like, does she ever pick up the phone? I'm concerned that she's like not around or... He's losing so much time. But clearly he's out and about. He's just not conscious of it. Something's gonna be on the ground because he dropped the chocolate. What's there? Some scratches. Is the scarab in there? How crazy would that be? The marks made from the table. What's that? A key and a, a burner phone? Layla. Layla, Layla, Layla. Layla! I've been texting and calling you for months. Oh. I'm just trying to figure out Wha whose it is. What is with this accent? What? Who do you think I am? What do you mean who? What's wrong with you, Mark? He's Mark. He's Mark and he's Steven. Oh my God. You're gonna get yourself in trouble. No, 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 mate. Someone's having a laugh. <laughs> You think that he would hear this voice and be like, oh yeah, I'll just, I won't search my apartment and I'll, I'll stop asking questions. Like, no, of course you're gonna ask more questions. It's in your head, bro. It's you, yeah, the mirror, the answer is you. Oh boy, oh, this is horrific. Oh wow, poor Steven, honestly. It's really being put through the ringer. He's fleeing his apartment. What about Gus? Oh, this is a nightmare. Honestly, like, I just would be scared that I had, like, mental health issues if I was Steven. Thank you. Hey. All right. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. Uh. Are we back on the fifth floor? Yes, the fifth. My friend Claire lives here. Oh, she's scared for her life. Don't worry, ma'am. Ma'am, he's not gonna do anything to you. He's just scared. <laughs> now he's on the bus? Oh my God, this poor man is really just been put through way too much. I would be concerned that I like was having a developing mental health problem, like schizophrenia or something. Can you take this downstairs, please? Ma'am, Donna, he's having a mental breakdown. Like he just got here. Maybe ask your employee how he's doing. I know you don't like him, but like, come on now. So you really do work here. Oh God. This man right here, he's been following me. No, I don't know. Please, I'll meet. Holy what? The scarab doesn't belong to me. It belongs to her. Do you know Ahmed? The crocodile goddess? She grew weary of having to wait for sinners to commit their crime before punishing them. What? Oh, and just kills you early? Before you've sinned? Okay. Oh my god, everybody here works for Ahmed? What the f***? She would have prevented Hitler and the destruction he wrought. Uh, but she doesn't give people the chance to, like, make a mistake and learn from those mistakes. By even her own avatar. Avatars. Mm -hmm. Blue people. <laughs> Are you going to kill me? Oh, the, he controls the electricity or Amit or, well, okay, all right, girl, we get it. Oh, he's going to make him ju be judged, huh? Do you want to know the truth? No. I want to take the blue pill and go home. <laughs> what does it say? What does it say? There's chaos in you. Did we not get an answer? Did it not... Do we, he's running away. Let him go. Well, yeah, he was already letting him go. Your guy wasn't stopping it, Wow, he must have not gotten an answer. And he just went to work? That's so funny. I would have left the building, bruh. I'm like, I quit. I quit my job today. <laughs> it's a dog squealing. Is it like the dog, the jackal, the kind of dog you see in Egyptian artwork? His reflection stayed there. This is so spooky. Stephen Grant of the gift shop. Give me the scarab and you won't be torn apart. So Arthur was just on the loudspeaker, but then that thing was coming after him. Oh my God. But it's still chasing after him. That's pretty rude. Stephen, I could save us. Mark. You need to give me control. Do you understand? Oh man. 
god, he's like Willem Dafoe, like from Spider-Man. He's like, he's got dual personalities. You gotta give me control, it's the only way. How, bruh? Oh, the artwork. Oh, the walls are flickering. There's artwork on the walls. Oh, and now we finally get to see it. Whoa. Oh. Oh, but the museum is gonna get destroyed. Oh, is he in a Moon Knight outfit? He had an outfit change too. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was good. I'm, I'm, my curiosity is peaked, I will say. He's just waking up again. Oh, ouch. You gotta, Mark, you gotta tell him what's going on. You there? Yeah, he knows. Didn't think so. Oh, poor dude. Oh, wow, the bathroom really is destroyed, huh? Has anyone seen the security footage? Yeah, I was about to. He was about to. Is none of it on the security footage? It's like Area 51 by MI6 bonkers. I bet it's not. I bet it's not visible on the camera at all. And now Steven just looks insane, unfortunately. Are you crying? <laughs> D different angle, yeah. Different. There's nothing there. Honestly, like, if I was the security guard, I'd be really concerned about Steven. Like, actually concerned. F fast forward to when I come out. When I come out. Oh, yeah, why not? Are there, oh, there, yeah, there wouldn't be security cameras in the bathroom, right? Oh, no. It's still you, bruv. But it looks different, though. I'd be like, yeah, you need therapy, bro. You need a psychiatrist. I'd be concerned. This particular group of doctors has a long-standing relationship with us. Doctors? Yeah, bro, you had to have seen that coming. But you're not alone. Yeah, it's, it's like part of the problem, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, the name tag. Oh. oh, he really liked this job, I'm sure, you know? I feel bad for him. He lost his job. Look, if I could find that storage locker, that might be my one chance. This is the only man he has. Wow, everybody he talks to doesn't respond to him. Oh, like... mate, thank you. Oh, thanks. Cheers. Oh, he looked at him finally. Wow. You know, it's interesting. Like, he leaves all these voicemails for his mother. Like, she hasn't picked up the phone yet. Oh, the matching logo. He talks to this guy and he never responds. Everybody else he has all these misconnections with, like the missed date. Are these lights automatic and they're delayed too? Like, they light up in an inconvenient way, not ahead of you. They light up behind you one by one. So you still can't really see what's in front of you. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, he sleeps here. And he is straight up just living in this storage container. It's Mark Spector. It's a U.S. passport. So Mark is American. Steven is not. <laughs> it flies. It hovers with the little metallic plate. I need you to listen to me very carefully. Oh, there he is. Here he comes. <laughs> He's less scared this time. So, so what? What am I like? Meant to be some sort of mad secret agent or something. Yeah, it's a little more complicated than that. More complicated than what? <laughs> it's more complicated than that. Look, I don't care how bloody handsome you are. <laughs> That's how you look, bro. <laughs> I serve Conchu. I'm his avatar. Conchu? Yeah. The Egyptian god of the moon. The moon! God of the moon! That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Is it really? You met somebody who serves Amit. Kind of makes sense. Now I'm gonna go straight to the authorities and they're gonna put me away. So I don't hurt anyone else. It doesn't get matter. It's not gonna matter, bro. It's the moon knight. Oh, they're not the moon knight, sorry, the moon god, Khonshu. Something spooky's happening. It looks like big bad. What's with the freeze frame? What's with the freeze frame? And he still got out? Oh god, and he's still running with the bag. Mark? Mark! She knows Mark. Layla? That's Layla. I just kept thinking, you know, he's got the suit, he's fine. And then... He's got the suit, he's fine. Oh. It's not okay, yeah, I'm still your wife. Holy f oh, oh, my, what, are we married? Look, I'm pretty sure we lost whoever was chasing you. Just drop the act. It's not an act, honey! Stop with the accent, please. The accent! This is how I talk. What is happening? He's been living a double life without even knowing it. This is crazy. Mark, why haven't you called your wife, huh? All this time serving Conchu? Uh, you sent these papers, but you never signed them. Divorce papers? Yeah, are we doing this or not? I would never divorce you. <laughs> you <laughs> Sir, you, it's not, you have to. This is you so funny. You seem absolutely lovely. You seem lovely. 
trying to show you Steve. what I found, yeah? Like, Steven, this bag, I found Steven, this bag don't. in the storage lot. Oh, he's gonna implicate her and he doesn't want him to do it. You're gonna get her killed, you hear me? Yeah. What's in there? Um, wait, wait, wait. Steven, you, Steven, you asshole. I'm supposed to believe anything you say with this shoved in a what, what a gym bag. Take it, take it, you can have it. No! Oh, Steven, you dumb You're, in, you're getting her in trouble. Steven, grow on. Oh God, they've come for me. It could be the girl that you stood up on a date, honestly. Oh, no, it's not. It's cops. Mind if we come in, Mr. Grant? I think he does. <laughs> they don't care, though. Oh, jeez. Isn't that, like, not okay? I Don't you need a warrant? I don't know how it works in England. How does the law work in England? Like, don't you need a warrant to do that? Or you need verbal consent? He didn't give verbal consent. Charges as long as a... Did she flee? Did she flee out the window? She's right there. Holy sh She knows. Oh, she knows someone's up. Mark Spector? Steven, oh, this poor man is in so much and he doesn't even know how he got here. I think you best come with us, son. Oh, no. You really should have left the bag, Steven. Although, didn't you want to be in jail anyway? Mark Spector was part of a team of mercenaries that hit dig site in Egypt. Here's what they did to the archaeologists. Zip tied and shot in the back of the head. Wow, that's horrible. I thought we were going to the police station. Yeah, I was gonna say, this doesn't look like a police sta- Oh, he's got an Amit tattoo. Now, why would you think that? He's got an Amit tattoo. Yep, they work for Amit. Uh-oh. Hey, Steven, I think you need to fall asleep. I am never giving you control again. I think you're gonna have to. I think you have to, bro. I hear you loud and clear, Stephen Grant of the gift shop. Arthur, just always addressing him as Stephen Grant of the gift shop. He doesn't even work at the gift shop anymore. He lost that job thanks to you. Okay, what is it? You see him? You see him right now? Kill him. What's he saying? <laughs> is he telling you to kill me? Break his windpipe. <laughs> Break his windpipe. He's cheering him on. It's all right. It's all right. That's all he can do without your help. Come. This is kind of fun. I like this. He's like, that's okay. It's gonna be okay. Look, they have a little commune here. And also in the mountains in a foreign country. I'm confused about that still. I'm not gonna lie. Does he just bounce around from town to town helping people and killing people? Or not killing. Helping and killing. Do we see this building in the beginning of the first episode? Yeah, because it was Arthur. He was in this building at the beginning. Can you hear him? Not anymore. Oh. I was his former avatar. He used to. Oh. Oh, he used to work with Kanchu, and now he works for Amit. Amit knows this too well. She tears evil up from the root, casting her judgment before any evil's done. Yeah, but that's not really giving people the chance to grow. Well, isn't, isn't that a bit dodgy, like trusting the judgment of a weird crocodile lady? It is the crocodile lady. I am happy that I'm seeing this after going to Egypt. Mm -hmm. Brings us to the scarab. Oh, they all want the scarab. They're all turning on him. They're all threatening him. You'd think like, oh, it is a compass. Yes. To Amit's tomb. Oh, so they can resurrect her. That's why they need it. You know, he doesn't have it, guys. You'd think that if they're all good people, they wouldn't be like threatening him like this. But clearly Amit forgives that as long as they're serving her. I don't want to use it. I don't. Then don't. <laughs> yeah, then don't. Maybe stop threatening him. Where is the scarab? So you got to surrender. It's either. I have it. Oh, sh She's here. She showed up. She followed Steven. Damn. Fix this. I was summon the suit. Summon the suit. She's telling you too. Summon the suit? What are you saying? <laughs> You're gonna have to let the bad guy out. You're gonna have to let Mark out. Oh, it's forming a purple sinkhole. That is pretty, but don't wanna fall in that. Just kidding. Not pretty, not pretty at all. Nope, nope, don't wanna fall in that at all or be near it actually at all. Did he just yell suit? Oh, wait, is it Steven in the suit now? What's happening? It's Steven in the suit. <laughs> he summoned the suit. Steven, what the hell are we wearing? Oh my God. She said I needed a suit. Yeah, the ceremonial armor from Conscious Temple, not Psycho Colonel Sanders. Oh my God, this is so funny. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Was that the jackal thing? What was that? Steven, this would go a lot better if you could just summon Mark. This is, this is funny though. Oh, we're really not seeing what's going on here. Mark is watching, he's disappointed. All right, do it. Take control for now. That's funny, it's like he has to give verbal consent. 
Oh, it's so funny in front of all these people. Let's make a show out of it. Why not? Get it out of here. Oh, okay. I want to watch Mark and her interact. They have so many questions about their relationship. And also, how the hell is Mark a part of Steven? Gotcha. Wow. Wow. That is disgusting and cinematic. Oh, bye-bye. Wow, holy sh Did he lose the scarab? Uh-oh, no. He lost it. I'm sorry, but that belongs to me. Thank you. Are you gonna judge him at the same time? Because that would be I evil. I wish you could live to see the world we make. He didn't even judge him, he just killed him. He just killed, he didn't even judge him. He just killed him because he'd seen too much. Okay, um, I don't think that Amit is a good guy to be working for and I don't think you're a good dude, sir. It's pretty f***ed up. So this is what it's like, being on the inside. Oh, wait, it is Mark. Steven's inside. Yeah. Wow, they're both awake. I am protecting her. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I saw. I saw. Kanchu has his eyes on her. He wants her as my replacement, and I'm never going to let that happen. You hear me? He wants her. Wouldn't Kanchu hear that? Because Kanchu is in your guy's head, too. Steven, oh, shut up. I promise. Shut up. Well, this is really cool. I like getting to watch all these different performances from Oscar. Let me remind you. Should we part, you may not like my next candidate. Why would you do that? That's so f***ed up, can't you? Why can't you just pick a different person? Where are we going? Where the hell do you think? Why can't he just pick c candidates of people that are alive? Like, what? Oh, oh my God. Are we in Egypt? Are we gonna see the pyramids out this window? How cool would that be? End of the episode? Yeah, that's fun. That is fun! What's happening here? Is she getting a fake passport made? I don't steal. They've already been stolen. Oh man, her hair is making me wish I had my bangs back so badly. I miss my bangs. I just don't want them for my wedding. They're kind of a hassle. Oh, I miss my bangs. Uh-oh, they're already here, yeah. Oh, go down now. Interesting. Wow. She's here. Oh God, can we not resurrect like ancient gods? That seems like such a bad idea. Listen, I saw part of the mummy and I just don't, I don't, we don't need to be doing this. I think it's kind of scary and unnecessary. Oh, he's doing parkour. Oh wow. <laughs> rude, stab him in the back, that's rude. Just smacking him cause he's a kid. Yeah, the other two are clearly older. Oh, come on kid, get out of here with your skinny jeans. You're just trying to show off for no reason? By licking a knife? Like, really? Don't do it, Mark. Stop me. Stop. Where are you taking me? You are at the airport. Oh! See? Oh, no! Oh, you really don't want to be stuck. Wait, they're already there? That's really convenient. Um, oh my god, so Steven took over the body and then Mark got back and we're seeing it from the, the, re the reverse end of this. Spectrum? Is that what I'm trying to say? The reverse side. Also, you really don't want to get stuck in traffic going to and from the airport in Cairo. The airport is far away in traffic in Cairo. I, I know from experience now, and it was it was a long process, okay? Where is Harold? Tell me. Mark. Steven, don't interfere. Oh, there's a mirror. Oh, the oh, it's because of the reflections. Oh, it's because of the reflections. Oh, I get it. Because of the reflection with the knife and then the reflection in the mirror. Oh, and he took over again. Huh? What? What? Steven did that? What? I swear it wasn't me. What is happening? This is a lot. Man, this is such a fast moving show. Did you break the guy's leg in the skinny jeans? Where's Harold? Is he not gonna talk? Praise Amit. No, 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 don't let go, no, no, no. Oh, that's so sad. What about the other gods? Are they just gonna stand by and allow somebody to unleash Amit? It's a good point. What are you doing? Sending the gods a signal they can't ignore. Holy sh He's just turning it to night? Well, they're gonna be mad about that. I can't believe it. Steven, you need to stay asleep. Oh, but he, oh, he must love this though. The pyramid of Giza. Oh, is that where they are? They're in Giza? That's what they're in? Interesting. I wonder if any of this was actually filmed in Egypt or if it was all just like editing and CGI and pretty sets. I mean, I know this was not filmed in the Great Pyramid, for sure. <laughs> 
For a lot of reasons, there ain't nothing there. <laughs> Are these all the other avatars? I'm Jet Seal, avatar of Hathor. Hathor, I've heard of you. Yeah, you're a cow goddess, right? Represented by a cow in hieroglyphics, I think. In attendance, Horus. Horus, that's the eye of Horus. Isis, the mother of Horus. Tefnut, Osiris. Yes, I've heard of all these names. I really didn't hear about it Conchu at all though, ever, so. Return from the opulence of the overboard before you lose this realm. Ooh. <laughs> Oscar Isaac's really given a lot. That's so funny. He really does look like his body's being used. The charges. Conspiracy to release Amit. Let us summon the accused. Oh, they can summon him? You know exactly why we are here. So, can you stop yelling, Conchu? Do you not seek to release Amit from her tomb? Well, he's probably gonna lie. Of course he would lie, but. Has searched for Amit's tomb since he ensnared me to his service. Oh, wow. Paranoia and he's a deceiver! <laughs> no, Kanshu is unhinged. To be fair, he does look unhinged just by the way he's speaking through Oscar Isaac right now. The man is clearly insane. <laughs> Kanshu, you really are not helping. Yeah, you didn't handle this situation well, Kanshu. You dummy. Poor Steven. <laughs> Let us speak to Mark Spector. Yes, please. Oh, thank God. Yeah, let Mark speak, my God. Are you unwell? Well, aren't we all a little bit unwell? I mean, what, what is the definition of that? I'm not the one on trial here, he is. Yeah. He has committed no offense. Yeah, he's literally seeking for Ahmed's tomb right now to re resurrect him. Wow, poor Mark. He is being exploited, but also, por que no las dos? Two things, both of those things are true. Arthur's a so is Kanchu. <laughs> oh, Hathor feels bad. Hathor, I'm pretty sure, is like a god who represents motherly things a lot and nurturing. So it makes sense that she would feel really bad and care. I mean, she also said that her and Kanchu had a connection too. There is another way. Please, girl, tell him. One man, a Magi named Senfu. He was tasked with recording the location of the tomb in case the gods ever changed their minds and decided to show mercy. Yes, Tell him. His sarcophagus was stolen and sold on the black market. Oh God, we gotta hunt that down. We don't have that much time. They're digging in the desert. I'm looking for Senfu's sarcophagus. Oh, <laughs> he's just gonna, this is how he's gonna do it. He's just gonna go around asking people like this. This is so funny. You should what? be here. Why? Because my name pisses off a few people in Cairo. Who cares? Oh, her name pisses off a few people in Cairo. Interesting. We never really got to see these two have a moment where they reunited because Mark basically got his the body back and then he had to run off. Yeah. Oh, we're on a date now? Okay, good. I wanted a moment. I get that you're not happy about me leaving so quickly and coming to Cairo. That's not really what it is. It's about like abandoning her completely, bro. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's just give our a rest for a moment and just try to strategize. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that's rich. I could have told him about Stephen. For what it's worth, I had it under control until very recently. I know, I wonder what's going on that he all of a sudden doesn't have it under control. And I also just don't understand how Stephen could even like live a life at all. I just don't understand how these two have the same body. It's very strange. I don't really get it at all. I hope we get an explanation. He's looking forward to seeing you. Oh, goody. Sounds like fun. I hope you realize you need no excuse to drop by. I'm scared. <laughs> I feel weird. No, no. Oh, okay. That was a power play taking so long to shake his hand. Oh, actually, our purchase is. Sorry, but I'd like to hear from your um, husband, if you don't mind. Oh, wait, okay. But I think I just would love to take a look. Oh, he does. Wow, really? We oh, God, guys. You guys really didn't come up with a better backstory than this? Please just let Steven out before you blow this. Yeah, Steven knows a lot about so much. Maybe there's a reflection in here. There's a look in the glass. Steven will help. Look in the glass and let Steven out now. Because the information has to be unlocked. Steven, yes. Check the cartonnage. Thank you, Steven. I'll take that first piece and fold it over the middle piece. Fold it? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. You're probably not supposed to touch it. Oh my God. If they see you touching it, they're gonna be pissed. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, you're touching it. They're not, they're not gonna take kindly to that. I knew that. I saw that coming a mile away. It appears we have a concerned third party here. Yeah? Uh? Oh, Harrow. Why well, settle for a clue when you can have the treasure? No. Oh my god, damn. Stop. He's gonna kill millions, trust me. Are you seriously talking about trust? Please. Oh, 
Anton, drop your baggage with her for just two seconds. He's totally going to fall for taking the scarab. And the irony is Anton's probably not a good guy. So he would probably be killed by Amit if she did rise. Wounds from your father's murder from reopening. Father's murder? Your husband doesn't tell you the truth. Well, yeah, no She didn't need you to tell her that. So you know that if you do, she'll see you exactly as you see yourself. Oh, I guess there's something more sinister. Oh. The reason why he's a bad person? Oh, okay. I mean, not a bad person, just maybe made a mistake. Uh-oh. That's just a taste of the godly power I offer. He destroyed it. He destroyed it. And Mark didn't do anything interesting. He's gone. Where is he? Oh, now he's gone. Oh, whoa, he's up there. What the f Wow, okay. We had to go up there? You had to have a dramatic entrance up there? Oh my God, we're just shooting everybody now. I mean, do really, do these people deserve to die? Oh yeah, she's gonna try to piece together the clue that he just kind of destroyed. She's fighting dirty. He's using glass? No, Mark. Oh, Steven's trying to make him be a good guy. Like, stop killing people, Mark, stop it. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, it's back to the dorky suit. Well, wow, Steven is really strong-willed now. Let's all just like chill the F out and talk for a second. Take the body. Take the body, take the body, Mark. Take the body, take the body, Mark. What the f***, Steven? <laughs> he just like, give me the body, Mark, and then they start keep attacking him, and he's like, oh, I don't want to be a shish kebab anymore. Oh, God, enough. Come on, Layla, you got to save everyone. Yes, you queen hurdle over that fence. Anton, it's over for you, buddy. You need a car. Yeah, yeah you do. Tick tock, Mark Spector. Oh, uh, off. F off, Conchu. Really? That was not a helpful line at all. That was just hammy and pointless. He knows that the clock is ticking. You were not very helpful at the meeting with the gods. What was Hara talking about? Oh, mm, right. Mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Did he kill somebody? I don't know. He's killed a lot of people, actually, but. It's gonna take forever. What if you let Steven out? We need Steven. Yeah. Yeah! Uh-huh, she right. It's okay, just let go, I don't have time. Nah, he's staring the mirror off because he's been, bro, you didn't have to do that. Cheers, thanks a lot. Cheers, thanks a lot. Oh my God, watching him shift like that is so fun. He's such a good actor. He's in the light, the constellation, wow. Send through Mark that tomb like 2,000 years ago. Uh -huh. The stars drift over time. Oh, oh no. So unless we know exactly what the sky looked like on that date. Does Kanchu know? Because Kanchu's the moon. I remember that night. Mm-hmm. I can turn back the night sky. It will come at a cost. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. When the gods imprison me. Oh yeah, they're going to imprison him for doing it. Mark to free me. He can manipulate the sky one more time, but he knows he'll be frozen in stone. Yeah, I think the gods would be pretty pissed about this. <laughs> I feel like people are gonna notice. <laughs> Surprisingly painful. Surprisingly painful. You brought this upon yourself, gotcha. Yeah, no, of course. Uh-oh, they're doing it. They're doing it already. Oh, they're doing it already. Oh, I feel kind of bad for Conchu. <laughs> okay, pin the location. Get it. Mark the location. Keep it. Oh, he's really exhausted after that. Yeah, I bet. Steven! Mark! Somebody! <laughs> Wake the f*** up! <laughs> Had you not broken me so completely, I might never have known the value of healing. Is he just gonna break the stone, which is something you really shouldn't do? I owe my victory to you. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, that's pretty intense. When he picked him up there, I thought he was gonna break him, which would have been just savage, man. I'm glad he didn't. That would have been so crazy. It's interesting that he said like his experience with Kanchu taught him the value of healing because his whole thing with Amit is that she doesn't really allow the time or second chance to heal and become a better person. She just kills you if she sees any potential of evil in your future. Like, so like if you were such a bad person, wouldn't you like want the second chance wouldn't you realize like oh there's a value here to like getting a second chance or maybe it's just like he hates Kanchu so much that he wants to help Amit rise because he, he wants the world to be filled with good people even if it means that he'll be one of the the evil ones like to be put down I don't know it just seems like a cognitive dissonance there but maybe I'm I mean I could see how he might go in the other direction but it just seems like if he values healing wouldn't you want to have that second chance for people who mess up. I don't know.
Anyway, this has been interesting. I enjoyed this episode more because there were mentioning of gods that I had been familiar with. Like Horus, he's like the the one with like the eye. He like got, he lost an eye in a battle with one of the gods. And um, I think Isis, she was like a witchy kind of god. And I think she replaced Horus's missing eye. And so when you see like the eye, it's like this artwork with a snake and an eye and these lines and things. And you see that, that symbolizes Horus. And Hawther I'd seen in a lot of artwork over there. So it's cool to see all these familiar names come back around. But I'm definitely not an Egyptologist, so there's a lot that I still don't really know. But it's pretty cool to be watching this so soon after going on a trip like that. So, yeah, this has definitely been fun. And I'm excited to see what they do in the next three episodes because it's a pretty – High stakes place to leave off for the middle of the season. And we've got three more till it's over. But until then, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up because it really helps me out. It lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next. And subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.